Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com, your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium. CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. And TheAmericanCatholic.com, politics and culture from a Catholic perspective. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Seeing red, the Red Cross has spoken out in favor of abortion, sparking fear that the International Federation of the Red Cross, or the IFRC, may soon declare abortion a human right. The Catholic Family and Life Institute, or CFAM, says that in the report on human rights, the IFRC quotes widely criticized UN Special Rights Rapporteur Anand Grover, who says, quote, States must take measures to ensure that legal and safe abortion services are available, accessible, and of good quality, end quote. The IFRC report goes on to say the real challenge is to find out how many states or countries will change their policies accordingly. Amnesty International, a human rights advocacy group present in more than 150 countries and territories, announced its support for abortion as a human right in 2007, pushing it as a, quote, natural part of their campaign to fight violence towards women. Catholic Hospital Hijacked. The chief gynecologist at a Catholic hospital in Barcelona is announcing he will publicly endorse abortion-causing drugs, partnering with the Spanish pharmaceutical industry to push their latest website. According to LifeSite News, the website is being called a, quote, point of reference for women looking for consultations about contraceptive methods and touts emergency contraception, intrauterine devices, the pill, and the patch. The doctor, gynecologist and professor Joaquin Calaf Alcina, announced his involvement by telling Europa Press, quote, we want it to be a website that is easily accessible and that women, independently of their age, will feel comfortable and bring forth their doubts and questions, end quote. The hospital doctor, Kalaf Alcina, works for Holy Cross and St. Paul and is the focus of protests by faithful Catholics on the 25th of every month because of its policies to provide abortions. Finding Faithful Families. The state of Virginia is making a move that protects some children from being adopted by same-sex couples as the Board of Social Services votes in a new state policy. The board voted five to one in favor of the new rules, which allow agencies to pick out parents for children based on their marital status and sexual orientation, ensuring the safety and psychological health of children going to new families. The Associated Press reports there are 81 private child placement agencies in Virginia, 42 of which are faith-based, including Catholic Charities. According to Catholic Culture, Virginia's new policy is different from Massachusetts, Illinois, and California laws which force agencies to adopt children out to same-sex couples, putting children into dysfunctional and even dangerous living situations. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a few seconds. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy, in print and on the web. And RenewAmerica.com, expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom. Pennsylvania-born Cardinal Buried. Cardinal John Patrick Foley was buried this weekend after passing away from leukemia at the age of 76, entombed at the Cathedral and Basilica of Saints Peter and Paul in Philadelphia. Cardinal Foley was the president of the Pontifical Council of Social Communications. He is best remembered as the voice of Vatican Radio for all worldwide broadcasts of papal masses. He died on December 11th. May he rest in peace. The Grinching Commission. According to the six-member oversight committee called the Franking Commission, tax dollars are not allowed to pay for holiday greetings of any kind, members of the House of Representatives are being told. Fox News and the Washington Examiner are reporting that any co congressional correspondence containing Merry Christmas or Happy New Year will not be approved by the Franking Commission that reviews the messages to be paid for by tax dollars. One congressional staffer was noted as saying, quote, Currently, incidental use of the phrase Happy Holidays is permissible, but Merry Christmas is not, end quote. Regulations of the Franken Commission do, however, allow senators to send Christmas and holiday cards to constituents, but not family or friends. 
Freedom from Sanity. The Freedom from Religion Foundation is so enraged at the idea of a nativity display in the Wisconsin Capitol building, they have decided to erect their own version right next to it. Their mock nativity consists of an astronaut and the Statue of Liberty as the angels in the scene, with Albert Einstein, Charles Darwin, and Thomas Jefferson in place of the three wise men, who all surround an African-American girl doll meant to represent the origins of mankind. One member of the Freedom From Religion Foundation quotes Thomas Jefferson when explaining the purpose of their exhibit, who said, ridicule is the only weapon that can be used against unintelligible principles. They say they believe their message is a very important one, and they just want to show the other side of the story. And finally, get real this Christmas and all year long. Just another reminder, with only a few more shopping days to Christmas, if you'd like to give the gift of a RealCatholicTV.com premium membership to a bishop, priest, seminarian, sister, or religious community, just click on the link just outside the screen to find out more about our half-price program. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure and tune in tomorrow for your daily dose of Catholic News Roundup right here on RealCatholicTV.com. And be sure to check out The Vortex today, where Michael talks about a high-voltage miracle. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to tell all your friends about us. And as always, God bless you.